We're ready for the Steelers and the Jaguars. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson, along with my partner, Brent Jones. The big story in Pittsburgh, who will be the starting quarterback? Well, Bill Cowher hasn't told anybody, but we suspect that it will be Cordell Stewart. And we do think it's going to be Cordell, of course, coming off a big passing game last week, but hurt the Bengals as well with 40 rushing yards, and they're going to have to contain him today in this Jacksonville defense. It's the National Football League on CBS Sports Week 13 from Altel Stadium in Jacksonville. We're ready for the Steelers and the Jags. So now we know who the starting quarterback is. It's Cordell Stewart last week. What an impressive performance against Cincinnati when he completed almost 85% of his passes up front. Gandy Fanica, a Kobe in for Hardings with the knee injury. Vincent and Marvell Smith protecting Cordell. The backs and receivers, Plexico Burris. Another breakout season. Heinz Ward is counterpart having a career year. Bruner's the tight end. Bettis and Kreider for Donovan Darius, who has a shoulder injury at strong safety. Second and six at the 36. Stewart going up top. Plexico Burris with the catch. Burris cuts it inside. Burris gets down at the 10. Nicely done. Cordell Stewart going up top. And that's a 55-yard completion to Plexico Burris. Allowing Plexico Burris to run with the ball. You see right over the top of the defender, Plexico in stride. And when Plexico has some room to run, he really can make some things happen out there. Very elusive for the six foot five frame wide receiver. After being with the team for only five days, this one from 25 yards out, and it's a layup. So the Pittsburgh Steelers take the early lead, 12.42 to go. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they allowed John Kitna to throw for 298 yards last week. As you take a look at the 3-4 alignment, Smith Hampton, Von Olhoffen. And the linebackers, Joey Porter having an outstanding season, seven sacks, four interceptions, and in the secondary, Washington Scott on the corners. Flowers is a hard hitter, and Alexander for 800 and 48 yards on the season, second down and five at the 49. Underneath Hines Ward, still running, and the former Georgia product gains 11 yards. And this man not only is having a fine season, but uh, he should get some votes for the most valuable offensive player in this league. And he's having such an impact. Of course, he does it all. Everybody always talks about his blocking, but his receiving will get him to the Pro Bowl, and he's made some big yards after the catch. And of course, tough going over the middle, and this guy just plays 100%. His motor is running all the time. Second down and six from the 34. Here's the toss to Bettis, gets his shoulder square, and Jerome Bettis running downhill. Gets to the 27 after a gain of eight. Two minute motion to the sideline. Ward making people miss. Hines Ward dives forward and gets to the 15. So it brings on Reed again, already good from 25 yards today. This one from 29 yards out. It's up and good. Two for two for Jeff Reed. And with 5.17 to go in the first quarter, the Steelers take a six to nothing lead. Steelers need to go to the 39 for a first down. There's Ward in motion. The pitch, Bettis with blockers. The big fella getting around the corner, and Bettis dives forward close to the 40. I think they spot it at the 39. Walked on to his college team at Colorado State. And this time it's Amos Zaraway up to the 7 for the Steelers. Five receiver package. Here's the drop play. So dangerous, Cordell Stewart easily picks up the first down, a gain of six. Stewart underneath, Ward with the catch, and he gets to the 40-yard line, close to a first down for Pittsburgh. Here's Buss on the draw, Jerome Bettis cuts it in, and the bus rumbling today, picks up the first down and some. This time he gains 11. At the 28. Stewart looking. Steps up. He's got all kinds of room. Stewart, what a great move. Cornell Stewart, touchdown Pittsburgh. How about that? 
28-yard run. Cordell Stewart. Cordell took a lot of the snaps on Wednesday, and so he started thinking it might have been Cordell. But look at that hole open up in the middle. That's one of the things the Jags have to do, control those lanes. Extra point is up and good. The Steelers have looked sensational on offense. 12.43 to go here in the first half, and they lead it 13 to 7. Because I understand that this is a business, and I'm tired of trying to prove myself. And Randall L's in the game, Gus, at quarterback. And here's the reverse. Hines Ward down the sideline, still running, and he gets out of bounds. Antoine Randall L is next week at home for first place in their division. Over the middle, ball is caught at the 40-yard line. Another nice pickup for Hines Ward. And here's a fake punt. It's Haynes, Barad Haynes, down the sideline. And he picks up the first down for the Steelers. His return is questionable. Third down goal at the five. Brunel to pass, steps up in the pocket. Brunel, buying time, finally tripped up and drilled at the four. Brett Alexander really walloping him. And Mark Brunel out of bounds. And here's the hit into the play. Brent Alexander just laying the wood, getting his shoulder, not leading with the head, and that's a proper tackle nowadays. You don't want to lead with the head. They're going to find you in the league. and Going to get a freebie today. Jaguars send it away. Here's Antoine Randall at the 25. Breaks it up to the 40, up to the 43. Maybe the 44, a 27-yard return. And here comes the bus with an injured taillight. And they give it to him. Bettis running. Jerome Bettis down at the 43 by T.J. Slaughter. A gain of 13. Stewart pump fake looks backside. Decides to run. Stewart in the open field. Stewart down the sideline. Cordell Stewart. If he's auditioning today, I tell you what, he's going to get a starring role somewhere next year. A 28-yard gain. Defense going this way and then all of a sudden spin and get that roll going. Watch Jeremy Tooman, 84, the block downfield. The top left of your screen and Cordell Stewart having a ton of room to run. And we said at the top of the show, Gus, he presents a huge problem with his legs. So Tommy Maddox isn't starting at quarterback, but he is the holder for Jeff Reed. Perfect on the day. 25-29. This is a 29-yarder as well. It's down, up, and perfect. So with 1.43 to go in the first half, the Steelers take a 16-10 lead. Second down, four. The screen didn't fool anybody. The Steelers, Jason Gilden and Aaron Smith smelling it out and dropping Jacksonville for four-yard loss. Second down, five at the 24. Taylor goes in motion out of the backfield. Brunel to the sideline, incomplete. And that's just a big miscommunication between Jimmy Smith and Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel thought he was running the square out at five, and Jimmy Smith thought he had man coverage, went to that side adjustment and was going to run a fade route. First down to 10 for Pittsburgh at the 48. Here's Stewart throwing off first down over the middle. Caught. Plexico Burris down at the 34. Brings on Jeff Reed, perfect today. Three of three, but this one from 46 yards out. Maddox is the holder. It's down, up, and good. It wasn't pretty. He got a little English on it, but last week they gave this young man the game ball. Most of the players didn't even know his name. After today, they will, including Tom Coughlin. At the 49, beat Mitchell in the backfield as a fullback. Here's Stacy Mack. 
And Mack dropped. He may have lost a yard on the play. Second and 10 at the 49. Brunel out of the gun, and he's dropped. Kendrell Bell, second sack of the day, and that's what happens when you spread the field. And Kendrell Bell was banged up earlier in this season, and that's probably the greatest sign for this Pittsburgh defense. 126 yards passing, 75 rushing. Second down, 13 to the sideline. Nice throw, nice catch as... Flexico Burris gets out of bounds. He should have a first down, a gain of 13. After spending some time on the bench watching Tommy Maddox, he's throwing the ball on steps a lot better. Timing route. He's getting that ball out of his hand quicker and reading the receiver's routes better. Here's Stewart looking over the middle. It's caught. First down, Pittsburgh. Flexico Burris. Bettis, Bettis, and Jerome Bettis gets to the 45, a 13-yard pickup. This team's still been very competitive in every game this year. Third down and six, they need to go to the 30 for first down. Brunel under pressure, and Brunel sack. Lee Flowers with the sack, third sack of the day for the Steelers. And the Jaguars will be forced to punt. And we talked about Jags not being able to handle the blitz. Watch Lee Flowers coming from the outside. Now, there's got to be a receiver that picks that up. When that safety blitzes, you've got to turn and look hot. You see Mark Burnell looking. It doesn't appear that any of the receivers got their heads around. And all of a sudden, you're going to be overwhelmed. Second and seven at the 47. Stewart, the shovel pass to Bettis. Bettis picks up the first down and some. A gain of 11. Bettis. Bettis crawling forward, running behind that right side, and Jerome Bettis gets to the 32. Bettis with 79 yards rushing. Play action. Cordell firing Kreider out of the backfield, and Kreider close to another first down. I believe he has one. It's a gain of 11. Stewart sprinting out, throwing on the run, puts it on the money to Hines Ward, and Ward knocked out of bounds inside the 15. And how about Jeff goal. Reed? He keeps getting, he's getting progressively better. Hit a 46-yarder his last one. This to make it 5-5 five of five on the day from 33 yards out. How about that? 5-5. Five for five. 11.37 to go, and I think the coach has found himself a kicker. The ball and milking the clock. Here comes the corner blitz, picked up. Hines Ward with the catch, and he is knocked out of bounds at the 30 by Fernando Bryan after a gain of five. They get a little frustrated or something, but he's clearly a team player. Five catches, 125 last week. Here's a big completion. Tooman down the seam. Jeremy Tooman with a huge gain of 27. And, and we saw Jeremy Tooman on a big block earlier in the first half. And now the tight end comes in, splits the seam, that double zone you hear so much about, one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. And what a throw by Cordell, putting it right on the shoulder pads of Jeremy Tooman. Second and six. Stewart running. First down. Are you sure? You know, I, I'm still sure. And, you know, this is the deal. And, of course, we've had a couple games this year where we've done that. We had Mark Bolger in St. Louis, and everybody said quarterback controversy with Kurt Warner. And shoot, of course, Cordell and making some things happen with his legs. But I think at this point, several weeks ago, this became Tommy Maddox's ball club. 50-yard field goal. They'll know Jeff Reed's name at this week if he makes this one. Let's see how good he is now. As long as 46. He's five for five from 50. It's down. It's up. Jeff Reed is the man. Holy mackerel. Where's his kid been? Six for six. And Tom Coughlin can't believe it. Jeff 
three. A cult figure in Pittsburgh after today. 4.22 to go here in the fourth quarter, 25 to 17. And this kid has had a career day. What's Je my name? <laughs> Jeffrey. Is that what is he saying to his teammates gonna, now? That's right. He's going to go locker room. What's my name? <laughs> Another handoff. This time it's Taylor. And Taylor goes nowhere. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Aaron Smith with the tackle. Brunel looking. Smith, touchdown. Here it is for the tie. Smith lines up at the top of your screen as the wide receiver, Shaw in the box. In the slot, rather. Kevin Lockett at the bottom of your screen. Fred Taylor, the setback here. Brunel knocked away. Incomplete. Dwayne Washington breaks it up. And Dwayne Washington knew it was going to be a slant. Stepped right in front of Jimmy Smith. Read the eyes of quarterback Mark Brunel. Stepped right in between him and the ball. And right now, that's the play of the game. So Richie Cunningham on, teeing it up once again. Come on, come on. There's a high kick, and Hines Ward is there, but another flag on the play. And I think this time Jacksonville was offsides. Offside on the kicking team, number 86. The penalty is declined. First down, Pittsburgh. Ross. And Bill Coward knows that his team dodged a bullet. And some people still believe in Cordell Stewart. As they should. It's a good problem to have a couple quarterbacks that can do something to you. And the Pittsburgh Steelers defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars. 25 to 23 behind some impressive play the impressive play of Cordell Stewart and Jeff Reed next week the Steelers will be at home taking on the Houston Texans and Cordell Stewart I guess the big question now is will he get another chance to play I'm sure this young man will. Jeff Reed, six for six.